Uh, Liam, let's start with a bit of reaction to, to the cup draw. What do you make of it? Yeah, obviously delighted. Um, the first thing my little and AJ said to me is, can you get me Mo Salah's shirt? I was so excited. Uh, no, it's brilliant because I think it goes to show where we've been as a football club and how quickly football can change. We'll have hopefully over 6,000 fans going to what is you know, an absolute cathedral of football. You know, I've been fortunate enough to play there, fortunate enough to go, and, and hopefully now I get the opportunity to manage there, which will be an amazing occasion for me personally, but more importantly than that, for everyone involved with the club. And uh, I hope, hopefully, we go there and, and we do ourselves justice. The game is actually a, a couple of months away. Do you just have to put it out of everybody's yeah, mind for now? That, that's so far out of my mind right now. We've got so much to focus on, starting with a big game on Saturday against a very good team. Um, and that's all the focus has to be on now, between now and then, is to make sure we get as many points in, on the board and as many victories as possible in every competition. It, it was a good reward for you, for, for a good performance. The boys have given you a lot to think about. Yeah, they have from, from the start of pre-season, really, from when everyone's come in. It's really difficult in a really positive way to pick a first 11. Um, but again, if you look back through all of the games that we've played, the impact of the substitutes that have come on, it's not about the first 11. First 11 hopefully get you into a place where you're in a position to win a game of football. And, and players the likes of Louis Sibley's come on, David McGoldrick's come on, uh, that your finishers and your players who can make a real difference at the end, they're still a massive part of the team. Uh, so there's a really good spirit in the camp at the moment. I've been absolutely delighted with every performance in different aspects through the season. And we need to have another good one on Saturday against what is a really, really good side at this level. You talk about the impact of, of the substitutes. Does, does that mean the change in, in the number that, that is allowed, it's back up to five? Does makes that make a, things better for you? It makes a massive difference in terms of options. Yeah, it does. It, may, it allows you, you still got the free opportunities, but it allows you to freshen up the team in different areas. And I think that's one thing that where as a coach or manager, you have to, have to evolve. You have to get used to the new rules and you have to use it in the right way. Um, and so far, I think the substitutions that we've made have all had positive impacts. And that's not down to me. That's down to the mentality and the, the engagement of every single player in the group. So all credit to them. And it's going to be exactly the same on Saturday as well. Does it make the, the conversation with someone who you're leaving out of the, the starting oven a little bit easier no, as well? No. <laughs> I don't want anyone to be happy to be on the bench. You want every single player in the squad to want to start to want to make a difference and to be accountable to be a starter. But as a manager, you have to look at the bigger picture. And the bigger picture isn't how... You, a lot of people have, a, have an idea about picking a team. You're picking that team to win you a game of football. The game it doesn't work in that way. You're picking a squad to win the game. You're, you're looking at how can I influence the game from the bench? How can we get off to a good start and be on the front foot? But it's not just the first 11 that wins you games of football. You know, every single player is important. And I feel that the players believe in that now and they're understanding that that's the way that I work and that's the way I will continue to work. I uh, just want to check on, on injuries. Uh, how's James Chester getting on? He's looking really good. He's been out, um, he's, he's doing his individual work at the moment, um, but he's doing really, really well. It was really nice to see him out this morning. He was doing his running on his own where, while we were training. The lads can't wait to have him back in and I can't wait to have him in because he's another outstanding footballer for this level. And, but again, Richard Stearman's doing a great job, so he's going to find it difficult when he comes back in to, to, to have a shirt, like so many players are at the moment. Everyone's fighting for that, for that shirt, and that's the way it needs to continue. Curtis Davis on track? Curtis is on track. He's, he's been in and around the group. He's at every game in the dressing room, giving the, the young players support, as is James Chester, as David McGoldrick has been when he hasn't been in the squad. So those players in particular, and, and Curtis in particular, have a huge influence in terms of the culture that we want here and in terms of giving those young players the advice and encouragement that they need. Um, so it's a really good feeling and, and again the sooner we can get Curtis back the better for everyone. And Joseph and Lang we know about, everyone else okay? Everyone else is absolutely fine. Um, we had to again, uh, some players were inside today, some players were outside getting sharp for Saturday uh, and yeah it's given me, I've got a lot of food for thought after this interview in terms of picking a team for uh, for tomorrow, because I always pick the team the day before the game, walk through the strengths and the definite strengths that Peterborough have, and hopefully we can get three points on Saturday. What about Peterborough then? Um, how big a test will this be? Massive, huge test. Really looking forward to it. Another great benchmark for us. They've started the season really, really well. I know Grant, I've known Grant a very, very long time. We actually were in digs together as young players at West Ham. Um, so it was great to see Grant have such a good start to his managerial career. Obviously, they've got forward threats. We all know about Jack and his qualities. Uh, Clark Harris is another one, um, is, a, is a very, very good player at this level. Joe Ward, I work with at Brighton, who's a very, very quick winger, who's got four assists in the last five games. So yeah, we know their strengths, but they are going to know about our strengths as well. And 
every team we've played so far this season has had to ad have, has had to adapt the way that they play to stop us. So it'll be really interesting to see how Peterborough go about it on Saturday. They started the season well. They were, they were among the favourites for, for promotion ahead of the season. And I think there's a perception that because they've been in League One and they've done it relatively recently, that they're better equipped than some. H how important is experience? Yeah, think? they've got great experience. Grant's got great experience. Off the top of my head, I think he's got two promotions from this league, one with Hull and one with Peterborough. Um, they've got experience in all different areas of the pitch. They've got some good young players at the back. Uh, it's going to be a difficult game, but it's about whoever performs best on the day. And like I've said, um, if we perform to the same level in terms of level of performance, it gives us a really, really good chance of winning the game and we have to be confident going into it. Yeah, you, you don't fear anyone, do you, especially at Pride Park? No, I don't think I don't fear Liverpool when we play them in three months' time or wherever it is, right? You can't go onto a football pitch in fear. You've got to go out looking to enjoy what you do, going to be on the front foot and be aggressive. And I will definitely do that on Saturday. And I know that Grant will be saying the same to his players as well.